she let it go. Sorcery. And all the land was covered in eternal ice and snow. It's completely frozen. Please, just stay away. Elsa! I'll bring her back and I'll make this right. So you're not... Okay, welcome to the Modern Talk Show, where we talk about love, sex, and marriage. But today, we're going to talk about something different. We're going to talk about the movie Frozen. According to eOnline.com, published in 2014, the box office made $1.2 billion off this movie. This was a huge movie that many people enjoy, such as adults and children. Frozen was a very popular movie because, according to Time.com, published in 2015, preschoolers can relate to Elsa's imaginary world dealing with princesses. So today on the show, we're going to have four movie critics. Um, we're going to bring them out to give them more on call. Little Mermaid, you know, and all the Disney princess movies that show our children, especially our daughters, from one to man. Okay. So, would anybody disagree with her saying that the movie was good, or did you like it, or is it black? Well, for me, I kind of feel like uh, it kind of idealized women's looks and not their emotions. Like, for from an article on DailyDot.com. Titled The Problem with, Un with Frozen, it states that what is special, unique, and powerful about you is also dangerous, shameful, and must be hidden. And kind of what like it's saying is that girls are time bombs and that they can't be trusted with controlling their emotions or their bodies. And the main subject for that was Elsa and The song Let It Go, which in the first part, it makes you feel like she's going to rejoin the world and be herself. But in the second part, the lyrics are turn away and slam the door, which negates the first part and gives imagery of that she's going to just close the world off once again. Okay. So, Deteria, would you agree or would you say that? Well, I would agree because Frozen is the first Disney movie that do not end with a fairy tale, but ended with, ended with something that everybody can relate to. According to NewYorkPost.com, the mental message of Disney Frozen by Riley on April 20, 28, 2015, it said over, over triple that Disney finally made a movie about a strong woman who go out and find herself without the help of men. It's, it's not a fairy tale. Everybody can agree with this because it ended with a strong bond. It ended with a strong bond. So, Jake, would you think that it, the movie A Power Sisterhood, or does it empower you? I did not like Frozen. Oh. <laughs> First off, it has a lack of background info. Almost every Disney movie opens with a strong intro, and it gives you plenty of background knowledge. Tangled, Beauty and the Beast, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Sleeping Beauty, Hercules, they don't give a background story. According to the New York Film Academy's web article, Frozen is actually extremely overrated. Here are five reasons why. Accessed on May 5th. There's a little no background on the main characters. Where are Kristoff's parents? Why is he an Iceman? <laughs> uh, why was Elsa born with powers in the first place? This also contributes to a severe lack of character development. Yeah, Kristoff was raised by trolls, and you know that Elsa can freeze stuff, which is a ripoff of Frozen, and that Anna can fall up in a few hours. But what else do you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, Destiny, um, do you agree or disagree with Jake saying that um, why she wanted powers to the <coughs> movies or anything? Um, well, my last thing I would have to say is. 
I believe this movie is a sisterhood. Um, you can go through countless of trials and tribulations and you will realize that's all you have is family at the end. Okay. Well, today we have seen these four movie critics' points of views about the movie Frozen. Can y'all give them a round of applause for this? Believe that Frozen is not overrated because it take, it talks about women empowerment and sisterhood. Jake and Luke, on the other hand, believe it's overrated because it takes away from other movies such as Cinderella and Pocahontas and everything. So I believe it's just time for them all just to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Searching my whole life to find my own place And maybe it's the party talking for the chocolate fondue But with you But with you I find my place I your face Talk show. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, please come back again.